Well, welcome back. And the city of Mason is putting a spell on you. <laughs> and today, they witch us luck. The seventh annual Witches on the Town is flying over the city of Mason. And guess what? We're all invited now, aren't we? We yes. are. That's yes. right. That's why we're joined by Amy, Leah, and Amy. Welcome, ladies or, or witches. Witches. Should I say? witches. <laughs> love it, love it. And can I say we all look fabulous in our hats? But thank, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having thank us. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Well, spooky season is not complete without this event that brings people all across the Midwest, not just the state, Correct. not just mid Michigan. But talk to me about seven years in the making. How did it grow to the event that it is today? Absolutely. So um, it started and local in a business, mm -hmm. and it's just grown through the community and our sponsors and members and businesses have just grown and put more and more into it. And so it's yeah, a big event this year. Yeah, a huge yeah. event that brings in businesses, both of your businesses as yes. well. Uh, can you both tell me a little bit about your introduction and why you wanted to join the event and actually be a part of it? Yeah, absolutely. It's a pleasure to serve on the Chamber Board on behalf of Dart Bank, and Dart Bank has been in the Mason community for 100 years. Mm -hmm. So when we are asked to participate in Witches, it was a no-brainer. Absolutely. I love that. And look at the hat. Look at how gorgeous yeah. we all look. Can we talk about the veil on the side? Look at that. I didn't even notice that. Oh my goodness, but it's so much fun. It's so exciting. And again, we get to support the local businesses yes. that are all across Mason. But this event this Saturday, there is a full lineup of festivities. Yes. Can you walk us or sweep us through Absol everything that we're going to get a chance to oh, see? Absolutely. So um, first we have our trick or treat bag. Yes. Um, and so all registered witches will get our trick or treat bag mm -hmm. and inside is uh, we'll have an enchanted spell book Ooh, and that will yeah. tell us um, that will tell you your businesses to go to for your goodie treat or experience mm -hmm. um, inside there we do have some goodie extra goodies and coupons from some of our businesses um, and then we have some new things this year we have a cackling contest a cackling contest. Yes, so get your cackle on. <laughs> okay. Um, we have a ghost story contest as well. And we have, um, we also have. The broomstick bus that the helps broomstick, us get around. Yes, yep, it has three stops this, this mm -hmm. year. Okay, how exciting. And then on top of that, there's the witch parade and witches dance. Absolutely. Can we talk a little bit about that too, what we'll see? Yeah, the witches dance is so much fun. Yeah. The women with the broomsticks, the costumes, dancing along the square. Um, we have a professional dancer that comes and teaches the dance, and it's just a blast. Yeah, yeah. and there are hundreds of witches that come. We're actually getting yes. a look of it right yeah. here yeah. on our screen. And uh, what we're talking about as well is the best dressed costume. Yeah. So we're getting a look right here. I love that one with the red feathers yes. right there. But of course, Amy, I love yours with the veil. We've got some purple <laughs> going on. Talk to me, what are some key elements that we're looking for for the best dress costume? So there's five categories this year mm -hmm. that you are going to be judged on. Creativity, um, if you're spooky, there's a group um, category as well, overall presentation, and we have, you get a trophy this year. Yes. Yep. And a gift basket. Yep. So How exciting. That is awesome. Now, yeah. in the years that you've all been participating, what is the best costume you think you have ever seen? Um, so mine would be last year we had Baltimore from Harry Potter. He was the scariest. Um, scared me to death, I will tell you. <laughs> Can I tell you? Girl, this is why I never watched Harry Potter. Yep. Because the man without the nose just like I this is why I'm yes. afraid of everything. This is yep. where it started. <laughs> but this is so, so exciting. And again, of course, this is all supporting the local businesses. Right. How have they mentioned that this has been helpful for them and, and people coming in and out of their stores? There's such an influx of people coming into the community that have haven't necessarily been around Mason, mm -hmm. so the experiencing the business and seeing what they have to offer and um, getting to experience what Mason's all about is pretty fun. Yeah. yeah, that is awesome. That is amazing. And of course, the community of Mason is so tight yes. and it's so wonderful in the way that they get the chance to support each right. other too on top of that with an event like well, this. And this year in our trick or treat bag, we do have something new too mm -hmm. and we have a $5 gift certificate um, for all the registered witches mm -hmm. and you can use that at 
private area businesses. So again, it helps the community and the businesses. I love that. And I can tell you which stores in Mason I'm going <laughs> exactly to use it at. Absolutely. But of course, this is happening this weekend. But really yes. quickly, tell us about the doggy trick or treat that's also happening the week after. Yes. So we do trick or treating with the dogs. Um, so that is the following weekend from 12, 12 to 2. Mm -hmm. And at 2 o'clock, we do have a costume contest for that as well. I love that. Yes. Well, clearly, the city of Mason is a place to be, not just this weekend or the weekend <laughs> after that, but really all year long. Yes. So thank you all so, so much for everything it is that you do for the businesses and the community thank there. You. And we're going to keep things spooky on Studio 10 because also...